Hello YouTube, today we're talking about mosquito larva, which is why I am outside. So many benefits to mosquito larva. I'm gonna show you how I keep them. Uh, I guess I don't really keep them, uh, but how I harvest them, their benefits, and uh, it's basically nature's gift to us Aquarius because it's free live food and it's super simple. So here is my tub of mosquito larva. This is it, the only thing that's in here. You can see my bed of sponge filters down there too. That's how I keep them kind of cycled. Now, obviously there are no fish in this tub, otherwise we wouldn't have mosquito larva, but you don't wanna do this with a tub that has fish in it anyways. It's probably not the worst thing in the world, but there is a chance that you can transfer some pathogens from fish through mosquito larva back to fish in your aquarium. So you don't wanna do that. Just keep them fish free. Now this is a 150 gallon tub, I believe, and it's just chock full. I've been harvesting out of here for a couple weeks now. So there's not as much as there used to be, but it's still in there. And it's really this simple. Now you don't need a tub. All over my property, I have just random five gallon buckets filled with like substrate that are outside, like an inch of water in them and there's mosquito larva in there. I've got tubs that I just moved outside that have about an inch of water that has mosquito larva in them. So it doesn't have to be something this size. Just put something outside that holds water. So what I do is I start with a little bucket of water, take my net, you see it's a very fine net, like a brine shrimp type net. And I'm just gonna scoop around in here back and forth. Uh, honestly, normally I use like a 12 inch net and it goes a lot faster. All I could find was my six inch net. I don't know where my big one is, but it'll get the job done. Now, if you can see, there's some of them that look like they're round and kind of like wiggly versus the long and wiggly ones when they're round like that. Um, it means they're ready to turn into mosquitoes and they turn pretty quick. So you gotta be careful. Don't get too many to where your fish aren't gonna eat them and then you're gonna get mosquitoes in your house or your fish room or uh, you know wherever you keep your fish, I guess. But here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to let this one sit for a while, I think, because normally I get a lot more than that. So you see the ones that are kind of round on top? Those need to get eaten fast. So this tub I just recently moved out here. There's about a uh, maybe two inches of water in there. You can see the mosquito larva way down in there. I'm gonna scoop some out of here because this is gonna get emptied anyways. So steal some of these guys. One quick swoop. So the ones I just scooped in now are gonna be a lot smaller. So there's many benefits of using a mosquito larva. Uh, obviously, you know, we're mimicking their natural diet. Uh, if you've never fed live foods to fish, they love live foods. So there's many benefits of feeding mosquito larva to your fish. Uh, one being it mimics their natural environment, right? In the wild, these fish are feeding on insect larva, insects, crustaceans, all kinds of small little animals all day long. One of the things I've noticed from feeding live foods is that it greatly enhances their growth and also their color. Now you're gonna get this out of most live foods, but in my experience, mosquito larvas are it. They are the best. Um, there's a few different things online that say the protein in mosquito larva is anywhere from 40 to 50%. So you've got a lot of protein. Uh, they have essential fats that are obviously crucial to them having energy, maintaining their metabolic function, uh, and also spawning. You can trigger a lot of fish to spawn by feeding mosquito larva. They're also rich in vitamins and minerals. They have vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin C. Um, they're high in phosphorus, they're high in iron, which is good for their immune system, bone development, and vitality. I think, uh, you know, again, this is kind of a blanket statement to live foods, but when you're feeding live foods, your fish are gonna have a lot more energy. Now here's where mosquito larvae are really gonna stand out when it comes to live food, and that is the cost. They are absolutely free if you're telling me that you don't have an extra bucket, extra storage bin, something to put outside and put water in, I don't believe you. You gotta have something laying around, just put some water in it. Obviously, if you're in the desert, this is not gonna work, but if you have mosquitoes in your area, it's gonna work every single time. So it is a free source of highly nutritious fish food. You don't have to feed them, you don't have to do water changes, you don't have to buy anything for them. There's just not a lot of bad things I can say about mosquito larva. So if you're keeping mosquito larva, let me know down below in the comments how you're doing it. What are you keeping them in? Do you have a tub? 
Do you have a bucket? Uh, I've left a cup of water outside for, for like a week. I forgot about it. Came back, there was mosquito larvae in it. You really don't need much to get started. But that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Leave a like, leave a comment, all that gobbledygook, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.